So this is a very short video to explain how to use the eye direction controller or the eye aim con as it's called with the um, Kayla rig. Now Kayla is a really really nice rig created by Josh Sobel and it's uh, widely used uh, for student projects. It's very customizable, it's very flexible, it's very very nicely rigged. Um, but one problem that people often have, that especially junior animators have, is the problem of floating eyes. Not just with this rig but with all kinds of other rigs and the eye direction control is a very very useful way of solving this problem. So let's just make sure we set it up correctly. So if I select the eye direction controller you'll see that as I move that around um, that it maintains uh, that Kayla will continue looking at the eye direction controller and you'll see that there's a little switch here called local forward slash world in the channel box in the I aim con and that is by default set to 1 and it is important that we leave it there um, because let me show you what happens to Kayla's head if I rotate her head you will see that her eyes will continue to look at the eye direction controller and let's say that I want to move Kayla to one side she will continue to look at the eye direction controller and whatever I do with her head she's going to keep looking there which is good that is exactly how we want it to be but let's if by some accident of fate, I change that to zero, something else will happen. So if I then move the, um, the control here, now the eye direction controller moves with the body. And so the eyes will not stay focused, or rather the eyes stay focused on the eye direction controller, but the eye direction controller is worthless because it's not staying in place. So it's very important that this control is set to 1 and that way we can do whatever we want with the head and the body, we can move it around and Kayla will continue to look at the eye direction controller. And let's say you're animating a two shot, what you do is you take this eye direction controller and you move it beyond the camera uh, and what you can actually do is create a little object like a polygon primitive cube, this is what I do. Uh, scale the cube up so it looks like a person um, um, oops, sorry let me just um, let's just take the cube and just do this manually so let's change it to uh, I don't know 50 and then scale Y 100 so I'll just change those to 25 Okay, so there we've got a cube. And so there's a character, right? That's the person that Kayla's talking to. And let's say, I haven't created a shot camera here, but let's say that she's talking to that person and she's talking to that person off screen. So we turn on our resolution gate. We have the cube off screen and you take the eye direction controller and put it on the cube. And now we know where Kayla is looking. Now we know who Kayla's looking at. And whatever Kayla does with her head, wherever she moves her head, let's say she's, you know, oh, that's not very good. That should be, oh, local world has somehow set itself to one. As long as local world is set to one, sorry, it changed itself to zero. If I move that head, then the eyes will continue to look at the other person who's off screen because it's very important when you're animating a character that they're always looking at something and that we avoid zombie eyes with the character just kind of wandering around the screen. So that's how to use the eye direction controller with the Kayla rig. I hope that's useful.